Welcome to the channel. It's Lori. Today's episode is a request from you, the subscribers, and it should be a pretty quick video. I got a request to explain why and how I like to use the clone tool in my photography. So if you watch my editing videos, when I come into Photoshop, I do like to use the clone tool. I actually use it probably just as much as the brush tool. So let me walk you through a couple examples of how I use this tool, and I encourage each of you to give it a try. It takes a little getting used to, and it can be frustrating, but I think its, it's resource is really effective in editing any type of image. So we'll start with this image, and I'm just gonna show you some basics of how I would use the tool. So one of the first ways is if I wanted to take some of this gorgeous color and bokeh and light and blend it into the other parts of the image, I can come up to this area. You want to click on the option key and then we can come over and I'm at 100% opacity. I can apply that in my image. Now this is very soft and so it's just going to be very, very subtle. Now I could also take some of this area, click the option key, and bring it up here and just kind of continue going around my image to add some different dimension. So I like to use the clone tool to help customize my backgrounds. And it's something that is a really quick tool that can set your images apart and um, just bring some cohesiveness to especially your background areas. So it's very subtle. You can see before and after, but if you had an image where maybe this top was solid and the bottom had all the light, you could just come in, grab your option, your clone tool, and then you could bring in some of those colors. We'll look at another image example in just a minute. Now, another way that you can use it, it's actually on something like your petals. So often if you have a smudge or a blur, you may want to try using the um, the heel tools, you know, some of those to fix it. But sometimes it just doesn't do right. So what I like to do, let's zoom in. I come over to an area on my flower, click the option key, and then I can just start going over it to clean it up. Now you can see that target cross cross that comes up. That is telling you where it's pulling from. So a lot of times I like to just click and place it where I want it, but you can also drag so that you get that full line and kind of texture. So that is also one way to use the clone tool. Now this really works nicely if you're trying to clean up an edge of something. So I can click and get my target and then and if you don't click on the area, let's see, click and get your option key, and then we're just gonna drag that. There we go, just kind of placing it in there to clean up the edge of this flower a little bit. So there we go. So you can see before and after, before and after. So you could also use the, um, you know, the heel brush. There's other ways to do things in Photoshop, but sometimes you have an edge that really needs um, to be tightened up. And I find that the clone tool works really nice. What I like about the clone tool, I'm gonna come up here and do the same thing. Click, click the option key, and then I'm just going to slide over it, is it brings in the textures of the area that you are cloning. So I find that it really um, makes it look very authentic and, um, and matches versus sometimes the heel brush or the remove tool just don't do that um, level of detail. So if you've got your clone tool open, you can always then do additional cleanup, which um, makes it nice. So I'm gonna come down here and click the option key. And I'm just gonna drag that along there, cleaning up that area really nice and quick. Same thing right here. Drag that kind of down, clean that up. 
So it is really handy for cleaning up small areas as well as adding some additional light and bringing some cohesiveness to your images. Now let's look at a second example. And let me go to, let's go to this image. So this is an image that I've edited previously, but I wanted to show you in this video specifically how I would use the um, clone tool feature. Let me turn that off. I'm going to duplicate the background layer. So I've got the clone tool selected. Now in this image, I blurred this background in Lightroom, but you can see it, it didn't really blend the two areas because that tool in Lightroom does not feather. So what I'm going to do is enlarge my brush. I'm going to come over and just click the option key and I'm just going to add, let's actually click it over here. I'm just going to extend this branch and then extend this area. And I'm just going to kind of blend in some more of the greenery. and even just kind of make it go off the page a little bit. Then I can come down and grab this shrubbery and just kind of blend this in. Now this is a very artistic image. So it is working for me to kind of layer these looks. So again, I'm just gonna come over, kind of layer that. Now what I'm also gonna do, let's just bring this one down. I'm also gonna come up here to the top grab the option key, and I'm going to just make the blooms kind of fall off the edge of the page. And I'm going to fill in these blank spaces a little bit more because I want this to just be really, really full. And I don't want to see that building that was in the background. So I'm just going to add a few more blooms around here just to give it that real artistic look that I was looking for when I edited this image. So that's another way that I like to use the clone tool. Now I also have an area down here that's a little messy. I'm just gonna go add a bloom right there using again, the clone tool for that. Just add an extra one right there and there we have it. So for this image, it didn't need to be perfect right here because I'm going to end up adding a lot of creative elements to this image some oil paint, some additional blurring, and this will all blend nicely. Um, let's go ahead and go back up here. And again, I just want to extend those blooms kind of off the page. And so that's another way to use the clone tool. So it's a great resource for cleaning up things in your image. It's also a resource for blending color and light. It's also a way to duplicate things in your image that you want to duplicate and kind of clone. It's fun to do that, especially with flowers or grasses or even clouds, um, where you can just duplicate things in your image. So I hope this just gives you a little bit of some ideas of how I use the clone tool. If you watch my Photoshop editing videos, you'll see that I use this tool a lot. I encourage you to give it a try as well. Thanks so much, everybody.